Hi, I'm David Sloan. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little bit how silk screening works, uh, also known as screen printing. Usually this is a way to get a design onto a shirt or a piece of paper or anything, aprons, whatever. So it all starts out with an idea. I have to have a drawing first. I'll often draw something and then draw it in permanent marker with really dark lines. And so I got a, fine, a kind of medium draft right here. Um, I'll scan that in and often I'll digitize it. So I'll put it in the computer, add a couple things. I can take the negative spaces from the drawing and turn those into dark spaces as well. This is going to be for a three color design. So I've got three different layers. There's another one with the outline. For every color that's different on the shirt, you have to uh, have a different screen. So I'm going to show you that part now, how we get the, from the transparency onto the screen. So to get our transparency image onto a screen, we put our transparency on this ultraviolet light table. We've got these screens coated with this orange stuff called emulsion on the white screen, which has got a mesh on it. This blocks out anything, but we keep this in the dark until we're ready to burn it. So I'm going to put this down over the transparency and that transparency black 100% opaque area is going to block the light out. This will take about 110 seconds. It's one of Santa Fe's biggest light tables around. So after 110 seconds, I uh, turn the vacuum off. The vacuum is to pull the transparency really close to the screen so you don't get blurry edges. All right. So now I'm going to open up this. As you can see, the transparency is kind of on there. And you can see a sort of shading on there. I'm going to rinse this off and then spray it with a power washer and it's going to wash out the light areas. The ultraviolet light hardened the emulsion, but wherever the light was blocked out stays soft enough that a power washer is just going to wash that right out. So as you can see, it's uh, preserved the emulsion over here, but now we've got a stencil that we can squeeze ink to. So I've got a three color design, so I'm going to burn two more screens. So each color of the design has a, its own screen. Um, this is Plastisol ink. There's a water base which you don't have to heat set, but the Plastisol, which is more commercial grade, has to be heat set. So you have to have either a big dryer or a flash dryer, which reaches 330 degrees. But once it's been heat set, you can throw it in the wash and nothing will come off. So now I've got to set up my board. I'll spray a little bit of adhesive spray. Try not to breathe that. And I'm going to dress the board. It's going to look like it's upside down, but that's because my screens are upside down as well. So I'll set that up, try to get it as centered as I can. Stick the fabric to that as well as I can. So once I've got that down, I uh, slowly take a 